Good evening, folks. Let's get this out of the way. Wait for it. Wait for it. Kawabunga SDO. Most satellites have to perform maneuvers from time to time, although I gotta say, the SDO flips and eclipses always seem to garner false chatter, so pump the brakes, it's all good. Sun is quiet. Few mid sized earthquakes today, largest one in Myanmar, one very, very shallow but small in Arkansas. Before we get to weather, more about the changes to the news. Weather Channel Terms of Service, skipping to the crux, people like me and many of your favorite YouTubers are considered to be subscriber-based news aggregators, at whom the highlighted provision is aimed. Technically, you don't need to go to these sites if you can get it all in one place, and that is somewhat crushing their advertising numbers. This may be able to be worked around, but that is part two of making sure this news stays on, and that's just getting started. In telecast and Titan Storm Tracking, owned by the Weather Channel, whose terms of service apply. The one I care most about is WOW. Their pressure maps are unmatched, and I'd like to think I'll eventually get the go-ahead to fall within this exclusion, but the personal aspect of the requisite is giving me pause. From the Arctic, the Atlantic, and Mediterranean they came. Downpour in Portugal, severe watch in Spain. While England and Poland see blizzards unfold, Germany and Ireland are freezing cold. The Arctic stepped to Norway and Finland froze still, and Argentina's killer storm swung north to Brazil. Right down. Australia and New Zealand mostly enjoying some normally seasoned weather. Major storms coming to the U.S., first to the west coast where Alaska all the way south to Mexico should be watching. There could be some thunderstorms this evening in Texas, but tomorrow and Friday is the first chance for a tornado outbreak. Texas tonight, Florida for tomorrow and Friday. Magic. Voila. The sun looks like solar maximum. Fake it till you make it, big guy. Normally I'd be telling you that we have major chance for flares with these type of sunspots, but we have been tracking two years of a maunder mirrored solar shutdown, and I doubt we'll see the flaring needed to expand our atmosphere again. We are getting some small sea flares at this time. We like that trend. Also nice to know the D region absorption is sensitive enough to register even minor energy flux. Not cool, Neutron Monitor. At least get rid of the giant readings sticking out from the side and the top. Hide it if you're going to hide it. Also see the muon readings to the right approaching 101. Solar wind dropping off fast. Had one hour of normalcy among way weak solar wind there. Another part of the solar shutdown. Top story is the coming quake watch. You know Mars and Venus are conjoining next to the sun while the coronal hole opens wide. Might see a dip in it at some point, but it's clear this is going to be the largest coronal opening we've had in a while. It does appear to connect to the southern coronal hole, which will be Earth-facing when I see you in the morning. I'll leave you with the umbral fields atop the SDO AIA 211 in the last few hours of 193. Eyes open. No fear. It's 6.15 p.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Be safe, everyone.